used to live up at Gosford and uh, my brother had a garage up there and I was working with him and a bloke come in with some dogs. He said, what about coming to the dogs tonight? And we went to the dogs and uh, won a few bucks on the punt and had a few beers and, and next minute we were buying a dog and away we've gone. I suppose this dog I've got at the moment, Spring Gun, he's, you know, I've, I've, had, I've had some nice dogs, but he's a real excitement machine and I think he's going to go to stud and that's a big thing. I've never had one that, I had a dog called Spring Secret, he could have gone to stud, but he, um, he never had what it took, he never had two stones, so, yeah. Oh yeah, well Brett Lee was a great dog, yeah, I've seen him racing that and he, he had early expert, he's a bit like my dog that... I don't say my dog's a bit Lou, but he's he's uh, he's the same sort of dog. Er, goes early and get and, and hangs on all right, and got a great middle section, you know. And that's what champions got to have, you know. Like I've had a dog. I, I won a Bathurst Cup and Orange Cup, and that with here a dog called Spring Gladiator. He won 12 straight until he fell at Canberra. Well, he was a real exciting dog, you know. Um, but he never had the early zip. He he got home strong, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well the Vic Peters, it's most probably the best race we've won, you know, I've run second in the Melbourne Cup and yeah. run second, got beat half head in the Top Gun, uh, won a Richmond Derby and a Bly Gold Plate and a, um, run second in the Easter Egg, you know, it's worth 250000 now, you know, and yeah, you know, we've had a lot of success, you know, I've won two Bathurst Cups and um, i won cups all over the country, like Tamworth Gold Cup, Moree, Canamble, all over the country, so I've won all the cups in 08. Well, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of it when it was grass track here, you know. I used to race a fair bit at Orange and that, you know, but we're sort of based at Spring Hill there, you know, and uh, it's not that where well, I'm sort of in the middle, well, not quite the middle, but it doesn't take long to get here. And, uh, uh, and um, but this is the best thing that could have happened to Greyhound Racing in, in this area, like... Uh, people say, oh, but Bunny Orange is gone. But, you know, like, y you're racing for more, better prize money because you're, um, you're racing for well over $1,000. And uh, if you, uh, like, we have a, a, a quite a number of dogs ourselves, but I, you know, I always say to people, like, the old pensioner or something that only had one or two dogs is very good for him now because if he, he can have a dog and win a race once a month, He's got his money and, you know, and, and it's real good and then he can afford to feed it and look after him and, and that sort of thing. But what, what this being down here in a, a tab track for us out here in the west like this is enormous because you've got a higher quality of dog, you've got better racing and, you know, and we're racing for good prize money once a week, 52 weeks of the year now. You know, there be a, a C grade meeting or the B grade, like the B grades are worth twice the money what a C grade is, but um, the better the dog you've got, the more chance you've got of winning the race.